Well, hello. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I finally made it. I finally made it. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I finally made it. Come on in. Come on in. Um, I got a word for you today, a brief word for you uh, today. Um, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, come on in. Come on in. I'm not going to be uh, in your way too long. I'm not going to be in your in your space too long, but God did give me a word and um, uh, some insight on something. And what I want to do, I want to um, I want to um, explain and I want to give you um, instructions. God has given me and told me to give some instructions on um, what he wants and what he's looking for, what he's expecting. Uh, give me about, and I don't have much time, uh, give me about maybe um, 30 more seconds. Give me 30 more seconds, greetings. And I'm going to give you the word that God gave me. I'm going to give you the word that God gave me and what God is doing in the season in this hour for such a time as this. God bless you, uh, Juanita. God bless you. I really appreciate your support. I really do. I really appreciate your support so much. Uh Got my daughter here. I did say I was coming on. I don't have much time. What's going on, Brother Trap? God bless you, Brother Trap. Amen. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. About to go on vacation again. Uh, let me get out of your way. Get me out of your way. Uh, briefly, uh, the word that God gave me was uh, return. He gave me the word to speak to God's people, to us, to return. And if I can, if you give me a few minutes, I'm going to explain exactly what God is saying. Hey, 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 what's going on, man? I'm doing pretty good. Exactly what God is saying, return. And so if I can explain this right here, there's many, there's many people that are listening to me. You're running from something. You're running from something and you've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about it. It's been in your mind, but some has been weeks, some has been months, some has been years. There's a certain issue that you've been running from. There's a certain issue that you've been running from. And as a matter of fact, you're running from it because you're afraid. The reason why it came from a hurt, it came from a breakup, it came from something that you ran from. You ran from it. Many of you, you ran from something and you're at a place now uh, where you're asking God to heal you. You're asking God to help you. You're asking God to give you the strength to be able to uh, move forward. You've asked God to give you the strength to be able to uh, uh, do his will and be obedient and do everything he called uh, for uh, you to do. And so what God is saying, this is what God is saying. Uh, the fear, many of you, the thing that you've been afraid of, you ran from it. Many of you have run from it. Uh, many of you have running from fear. There are certain things that God want you to face, which is fear. There are certain things that God said that some of you are listening to that you're running from that God wants you to face. God wants you to deal with. And the reason why God wants you to deal with it because God is going to heal you from it. This is your time to be healed. This is your time for your deliverance. And this is your time for your miracle. This is why God is saying return. And if I can explain, return also means to repent. It means to repent, to do your first work over again. To do your first work over again. God is saying to, 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 to many of you to return back to your prayer life. To return back to relationship that you once had with God. God wants you to return. God wants you to return back to love. God wants you to return back to smiling again. And in that word, in that word return, there are certain things that God is going to return to you. In, in, obeying, in obeying him, there are certain things that you've tried to help. There are certain things that you tried to repair. You couldn't do it. But out of your obedience, God's going to cause it to, to fix it. In other words, God's going to give you the strength to be able to fix the situation. There's somebody that listen to me. You're in a relationship situation where there's a situation that you're avoiding. There's a conversation that you keep avoiding. You keep avoiding it. And it's going to be there until you face it, until you talk about it. See, a lot of times in relationships, sometimes even with guys, uh, a lot of times God don't talk about certain things because they know how their wife is going to act. They know how their wife is going to act or how they're going to react or how they respond. So for that reason, they don't say nothing. But man, sir, it's important that you speak. It's important that you assess or articulate your feelings and see what's happening. Also, God is returning back 
order in the church. God is returning back order in homes. God is returning back order in church. God is returning back balance. Balance come from patience. God has given uh, many of you a greater measure of patience. You remember, uh, there's a there's a birthing, there's a birthing, there's a deliverance that's taking place. Also, some of you, God is delivering and birthing out of you patience. This is why you struggle. This is why you've been tossed to and fro. This is why you've been going through what you've been going through. The Bible says tribulations, glory tribulations, because tribulations work of patience. But back to facing fear. I will tell you a story. Moses, Moses, he was raised as an Egyptian. He was a Hebrew, but he was raised as an Egyptian. But there came a time where Moses, where someone was, uh, where one of the soldiers was abusing one of the Hebrews. And so Moses rose up and killed one of the soldiers. And because, so because he had murdered uh, the soldier, he had to run. He had to run. And the Bible says that he was, uh, he ran on the backside of the other. He wandered for 40 years. And there are many of you that, that's, there are many of you that listen to me. You've been wondering for a long time. You've been wondering, you, 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 you've been through something difficult. You've been through a betrayal. Somebody betrayed you. Uh, an organization betrayed you. A man betrayed you. A church betrayed you. And because of that, from that encounter, you've been running. You've been wonder, running and you've been wondering. You've been wondering, you've been running and you've been wondering because trust. You don't have trust no more. You don't trust man no more. You don't trust people no more because of what happened, because of the violation, because of the betrayal, because of the hurt. And you're wondering. But the thing about with Moses, Moses wandered 40 years. And, and doing them 40 years on the backside of the desert, there's so many things that happened to Moses. God worked out so many things. God was purging so many things in him. God was pruning so many things in him. And this is you, men of you. You've been wondering, you've been saved, and you've been saved, and you've been given the call to preach for years. But for some reason, you've been wondering. You've been wondering. God says you go, God says you heal, but you've been wondering. You've been wondering, you've been going, it's like you've been going through a desert. It's like you've been going through a wilderness. And it seems like in this desert, this wilderness, it seems like God is not there. It seems like every turn that you take, it seems like you're by yourself. See, but God is there. But the reason why you feel like you're alone, God had to hide himself for you. See, because, see, God had to work certain things out of you. See, the reason for the long delay where it feels like God was hiding himself, there were certain things that God had to squeeze out of you. Pride, hurt, rejection, discontent, evil, evil wickedness, backbite, all of that. God had, to, God had to shake it out of you through the backside, through that backside experience. And so this is why it felt like, see, you felt like you were delayed. You felt like you were forgotten about. No, God hadn't forgot about you. God said he was mindful of you. Matter of fact, he's engraving you in the palm of his hand. See, but God chastens those we love. And so because there are certain things that you didn't do and you couldn't do and you didn't listen to God for, God took you and allowed, caused you to wonder. Just like he did with the children of Israel. When they went into the wilderness, they wandered for 40 years. And you know why they wandered? Because they didn't believe God. That's why it's taking so long for God to speak. This is why it's taking so long for God to move. This is why God is taking so long for God to, 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 to heal your bank account, to heal your marriage, to even heal your body. It's because of unbelief. You've been down God. You've been down God and because you've been down God in your heart, God had to take you a long way. He had to take you the long way to, be, to get you to examine yourself. He, he took you the long way to get you to examine your heart and get to examine the pros and cons on the direction that you need to go. See, you, you're isolated. You're in a secret place. You're in a quiet place. You're in a painful place. And at this secret and quiet and painful place, this is the place where God wants you to be at. And now this cave and this painful place is a place where it feels like you're in a prison. It feels like you're being held. It feels like you're by yourself. It feels like when you try to reach out for help, Nobody is around but God. The people that you once reached out, you could use them as a crutch to go to. You can't go to them now because God has hidden them from you. And you at a place where it's you, it's between you and God. And God wants you to face your fears. God is saying, stop running. Face your fears. 
The thing that you've been running from is the very thing that has your blessing. The thing that you've been escaping and the thing that you've been hiding from is the thing that's been carrying your blessing. See, the thing that you need to understand, a blessing, the beginning stage of a blessing is painful. The beginning stage of a blessing doesn't feel good. Mothers, you remember having a baby, being pregnant? That didn't feel good. Them nine months didn't feel good at all. The three trimesters didn't feel good. But at each stage, there was pain. At each stage, there was a stretch. Your body stretched. Your stomach stretched. See, many of you are stretching. Your faith is stretching. Your faith is stretching because God wants you to completely and totally depend on him. Not a man, not a bank account, but depend on him. Because the Bible says tongues are going to fail and prophecy is going to cease. Now, I know people are prophesying, but that's going to, that's going to cease. But the only thing that's going to stand is God's word. And so God wants you to stand and lean on his word. In this situation, God wants you to lean on him. In this situation, God wants you to trust him with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. At this place right here. See, God wants you to face it. And see, the thing about it with Moses, with Moses, after Moses had wandered around for 40 years in the wilderness, on the backside of the desert, he met God at a burning bush. And so many of you, as you're wondering, as you're wondering, many of you that listen to me, you're about to meet God. You're about to, about, to, you're about to meet God in a way that is going to blow your mind. You might to, might to be you about to you about to meet God. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna do something to you that's going to that's gonna blow your mind. As a matter of fact, the pain that you're feeling, the discomfort that you're feeling, the uneasy easiness that you're feeling, you're in the presence of God. See, because there's no flesh can tarry in God's presence and live, and so because God's presence is presence is in your life, this is why you are in pain. This is why things are being disrupted. God is disrupting everything in your life because it wasn't right. It wasn't done like God wanted to be done. And so because that God is disrupted. And so what God is doing, God is breaking that foundation down and God is putting you back on the wheel again with fire and he's reshaping you. He's reshaping you with power and he's reshaping you with wisdom. But also what God is doing He's reshaping you with information. And in, in this information, this information is instructions. Because when Moses met God at that burning bush, you know what God told him? Go back. Go back to Egypt and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. God is saying, now that you've been delivered, now that you've wandered around in the wilderness, <clears throat> now that you've been wandering around, now, now that you've been through change, you've been through hurts. God is saying, go back to the place that you ran from. Because God said, I put the word in your mouth. I prepared you. I've put the word in your mouth to the place that you ran from. God said, when you go back, you're going to be the voice and you're going to be the instrument that brings the place that you once feared. That, that you once feared. God's going to give you the word. And God's going to give you the, the information and God's going to give you the authority and God's going to give you the confidence <coughs> to be able to deliver that particular place. See, you were there for a reason. You had to suffer. You had to suffer for a reason. But in your suffering, God was giving you download. And in your suffering, God was giving you revelation knowledge. But in that download, and that revelation knowledge, after God revealed it to you and through the pain, God took you away for a season. God took you away for a season. And when God took you away for a season, God was able to explain in the secret place what happened with your life, why this happened, why that happened, why he said that, why she said that, why he hurt you, why he hurt you. All it was doing, it was preparing you. Solomon said, in wisdom, there's much sorrow and in, my, in knowledge, there's much grief. You feeling much sorrow? And you're walking in so much grief. But you have been introduced to wisdom and knowledge. And with this wisdom and knowledge, God is going to use this wisdom and knowledge in your mouth to save, to deliver, and to be an example of righteousness, but also to become a voice that's going to change and that's going to heal a, a, a bound people. And as a matter of fact, there are some people that listen to me right now. There's a Joseph spirit 
that God has put up on you. See, for your life, you rejected by your siblings. You was rejected by your loved ones because you had a gift. Because God hands upon you. They tried to kill you. They tried to silence you. They tried to keep you quiet. But in every situation, God calls you to slip away. And God calls you to still live. And everything that they did, God, it was preparation. And God was restoring you. And God was repairing you. And what's going to happen? What happened? They tried to put you in a pit. They tried to destroy you. But God's going to put you into a place and he's going to set you into a, a situation a sta of status wherein you're going to be able to restore, wherein you're going to be able to help, wherein you're going to be able to deliver people because of your faithfulness in those times when you could have walked away, you could have said, God, I'm tired. I can't take it. But God said, because you took it, because you suffered a while, he is causing your reward and he's causing uh, 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 your power <coughs> to be expressed and he's causing you to be elevated. See what God is doing. Everyone and those people that tried to beat you down, those people that tried to criticize you, those people that said you weren't good enough, <coughs> those people that say you weren't articulate enough, those people that said you weren't smart enough, God is going to those same people that were talking about you. Why are they talking? Their mouth open. God's going to elevate you up. Right while they're talking, right above their eyes, right while they're watching. God's going to elevate you. And it's not going to be for a selfish reason, but it's going to be a testimony of what God has done. I'm almost done. I'm going to say this in closing. God says, the suffering that you're going through is for Christ's sake. God is teaching you something through the suffering that you're going through. God has given you a message. God has given you revelation knowledge. God has given you understanding through your test. God has given you wisdom through your test. But God says, take it, bear it, and listen for him in the test, in the pressure. Because in that pressure, not everybody can listen. But in this pressure, God is speaking. God wants you to hear it. God wants you to stay still. God wants you to stay focused and listen until God completely download what, he, what he's saying in this season. And once he's finished, the pain and the things that you're feeling going to lift. God says, once he's finished speaking to you, what you're feeling is going to lift. The pain is going to lift. The pain is going to lift. God says, for some of you, the pain is over. God says, some of you, the pain, the, the, the assignment has begun. The assignment has begun. God is saying return back to that place. God is saying go back. God is saying face your fear. God is saying speak my word. In season and out of season. And God is going to give you the words to say. Take no thought of what you're going to say. But speak what God speak to you. Open up your mouth and I'm going to fill it, Seth God. And he will fill your mouth with good things. Shalom. God bless you. Let's say a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of you, I thank you and I bless you. And I magnify you, God. God, open up your people mouths to hear and open up your people mouths to speak your word. Speak your word. Speak your word, God. And God, open their heart up to forgive. Some, some deliverance, some deliverance that listen to me, God, forgiveness. Unforgiveness heart is blocking them. They won't let go of it. That's what's blocking them, God. God, forgive them today, God. God, forgive us as a people, God. God created in us a clean heart, renew within us a right spirit, God. God, help us and we'll be helped. God, for those people, God, that need help. God, for that mother that need encouragement, God, encourage her today. God, for that father that needs just an extra push, God, push him today. God, that person that needs healing, God, heal his body. Heal her body, heal her heart, heal her soul. That somebody, God, that listened to me, God, that have problems, pain in their feet. God, take the pain, take the swelling away out of their feet, God. God, there's some, God, some that listen to me, they got pain in their lower back. God, take that pain away out of their lower back. There's some that listen to me, God. God, they have mental problems. They're having problems mentally uh, processing certain things. There's some people that listen to me, God, that it feels like, and they've explained it, like their brain hurt. It's like their brain is hurting. It's like the pressure so bad. It's like 
Their brain is hurting. God, give them release. God, give them relief. God is going into your brain. God is going into your membranes. God is going into your pressure. God is going into your nerves and God is bringing peace to that person that's sitting in the hospital right now and that's, that don't know what's going to happen. Believe in God. You're trusting God. I speak that God has healed you today. I speak that God give you direction today for that woman, for that man that's fighting anger issues. Let's fight and trust issue issues, God. God, come into their mind. God, come into their heart. And that anger, God, redirect that anger. And allow that anger, allow that energy to focus on you. God, teach them how to channel that anger. God, teach them how to channel it, God, with fight. God, teach them how to channel that anger with faith. God, teach them how to channel that anger with determination. God, teach them how to channel that anger, anger with love. And God, for that person that got trust issues. And they, they have issues with trust because they trust so much. They trust so much. They're trusting people. And it's almost like they're, they're loyal to a fault because they've trust so much. They keep trusting, but they keep hurting. They keep believing, but they keep being let down, God. God, encourage their heart. And God, don't let them change. Let them keep trusting. I know they got issues. They have an issue because they want to trust again. Trust is trying to, trust is trying to speak. God, allow the hurt to subside. Allow the hurt. God, heal the hurt that trust might come again. God, heal the pain that trust might speak again. God, teach them how to trust that love might come, that faith might come. God, you're restoring faith. God, there's some that listen to me that their faith is weary. Their faith is under attack. Their faith is, their faith is shaky, God. They're like the man that said, God, I believe, but help my unbelief. God, God, that place that they don't believe, God. Give them strength to the belief. Let them hold out. Let them hold on. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you, we bless you, we magnify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for coming on. Amen. So I was late. Uh, keep me in your prayers. Then you had therapy today. God is healing him. God is delivering him. And uh, keep us in your prayers. Keep in your prayers. He fights through anger and, you know, ups and downs and but God is faithful. You got you to gotta press your way. Anything worth having is worth fighting for it. Just because it gets tough, that don't mean to quit. That don't mean it's not God. You keep pushing. If you feel in your heart that it belongs to you and you push to get it, till you get it. Refuse. Refuse defeat. Refuse failure. The Bible says I can do all things. All things. Inclusive of everything, exclusive of none, all things. With God in your life, you can do all things. Never excel or accept defeat. Victory is your victory is your portion. Healing is your portion. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Do me a favor, listen and share. And uh, Sharanda, that baby is coming. Keep believing. That baby is your test. Stay faithful. Stay faithful. God bless you, Juanita. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You have a powerful word, woman of God. There's a testimony in your life. You've been through so many things. Juanita, people have overlooked you. They've taken you for granted. But there's a power in you. God has elevated you. God has raised you up. You don't need the show. You don't need the fanfare. See, because God said what you do in secret. He's going to reward you. And see, you've been secretly, you've been crying out. Secretly, you've been praying to God. And God said, I've heard your cry. And I've come down to deliver you. Amen. Victory is our portion. Victory is our portion. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Keep trusting God. Why need to keep trusting God? Amen. And he's going to see you through, Cheryl. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And I speak a blessing. I speak a miracle upon everyone that come on today. I speak a miracle. I speak a prophet's blessing upon you. I speak that a wind, God sent a fresh wind to you. I speak that God sent, even today, I speak that God 
I bless you today. I speak that God sent something new to you today. I speak that God put money in your hand. I speak that God put something new in your hand. I speak that God sent somebody to you today to be a blessing to you. I speak that God uh, touch your body. I speak that when you open, when you open up certain things, God, money comes in. I speak that when you walk down certain avenues, that God send 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 a Rehoboth that you walk into a large place, that you walk into a large room. I speak that I speak that blessings come from the north, south. East and West. I speak that healing. I uh, speak through your bloodline. I speak that healing come. I speak the healing come in your body. I speak that speak healing come to your feet. I speak to healing come to your heart. I speak healing to your heart. I speak healing to your mind. I speak that God unstop your ears. There's some of you that having ear problems, hearing problems. I speak that God unstop your ears right now. I speak to somebody having that listen to me having vision problems. You having a problems focusing. You have problems focusing. I speak that God touch your eyes. I speak that God touch your eyes. I, I speak that God, that some of you that haven't focused, focus, focus naturally, focus spiritually. You can't focus. You can't understand. You can't perceive what God is saying. You can't perceive what God is doing because of the pressure. You can't perceive what God is saying because of, 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 of the voices that speaking to you. I speak that God silence every voice of, of the gang sayer, and that God give you clarity and that you arise and go forth in God, in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'm done. God bless you. I got to go. Got to go. My baby girl, God bless you. It's coming. It's your word. God bless you. Amen.